Well, we have to understand that there is an important concept here. Screening is potentially a very valuable method of identi identifying patients with atrial fibrillation who might benefit from treatment with anticoagulants. If they received appropriate treatment, we might save them from suffering from strokes and we might reduce their mortality. So it's a very important issue that needs careful consideration. The National Screening Committee here in the United Kingdom has considered this on several occasions and they point out that not all the criteria for screening are yet met and therefore they're reluctant to advise screening for atrial fibrillation but they are, I think, optimistic about potential screening in the future. I think that every doctor should be aware that their patients may suffer from atrial fibrillation. Years ago it was considered to be such a normal rhythm disturbance that it was uh, always said to be normal in elderly patients, but of course it's not. It is associated with stroke and increased mortality and we should do something about it. So doctors when they see patients should take the opportunity to feel the pulse, if it's irregular, to record an electrocardiogram. That would allow them to identify patients with atrial fibrillation and talk about potential treatment with oral anticoagulants. Obviously we can identify populations where screening would be more effective. But of course, even in populations where atrial fibrillation is relatively uncommon, finding it would also be a great advantage. But for practical purposes, I think that patients uh, who are over 65 years of age are appropriate for opportunistic screening, which I described previously, and patients over 75 are appropriate for more systematic screening, involving not just a single ECG but multiple ECGs. And uh, if we want to go into it in even more detail, we can find people with underlying cardiovascular disease, such as coronary artery disease, heart failure and so on, that will have a much higher likelihood of having atrial fibrillation, making the screening process much more productive. This is a meeting of an all-party parliamentary group dealing with arrhythmias and we're here as the Arrhythmia Alliance to uh, talk specifically about screening for atrial fibrillation but we come here very often to discuss matters related to arrhythmias in general. Uh, we try and collect together all manner of people that are involved with uh, patients with atrial fibrillation, the patients themselves, their carers, their relatives, the doctors, the allied professionals, industry, politicians, administrators, just anybody who's interested in this problem and we're trying to work together to improve the care of patients with atrial fibrillation.